Hello there, this is Kush Sharma from Creative Pad Media. In this video, we will be transforming this image and turning it into a superhero-like image like you can see in front of you. So this is gonna be for the Iron Man costume, but as you're gonna see that you can pretty much produce any kind of results that you want because we will be starting off with this particular tool which is called faceswapper.ai which has a clothes swapping tool which I'm just gonna be showing you throughout this video. I'm gonna be using different AI tools to achieve different things because it's not just about changing the clothes here. We are also gonna be changing the background for which we're gonna be using this particular tool which is called fort.ai. All these tools that I'm gonna be showing you are completely free. Then you'll find that the problem with the image will be it will be downscaled because that's one of the issues with these free tools. And then we will have to use an AI software again to upscale and enhance the image. Again, this is a free software which we're gonna be using, which is upscale.media. And we'll also be needing a prompt for the background for which we will be using ChatGPT, which is again free. So let's start with this process. So I'm gonna be, first of all, going to faceswapper.ai. This is gonna be the main tool for this process. And this is not a free tool, but it gives you a certain amount of credits per day. So they, are reloaded every day and you get 10 credits. You can see I'm down to four. And every time you use this clothes swapping feature, you use two credits. So you can do up to five swaps per day, basically, which is enough, you know, in 24 hours is gonna come back again. So just create an account with them and you'll see these credits being uh, reflected as 10. So it's completely free, don't worry about anything. Even if you later decide to go for their pricing, it's pretty cheap, okay? But anyway, let's get started. So once you go to faceswapper.ai, you will go to clothes swapping tool here. And it's very easy, you just have to add your image, that's all. So the image that I've just uh, given to you, you can just open that up. So we have our image here. By the way, at the end of this video, I'm also gonna be showing you some of the other experiments I did when it comes to this clothes swapping feature. So that'll be towards the end of the video. But first of all, this number one image that you have been given, you will be able to access that. And now that we have here, all you just need to do is just type in the prompt. So let's say we are turning him into Iron Man. So let's say Iron Man costume. I've even experimented with a lot with prompts, which I'll uh, just be talking about towards the end of the video. But that usually the short prompts are absolutely fine. So the results can be a bit hit and miss. So it's not like every time we're gonna get exactly the same result. Sometimes the results don't look good. Sometimes they look too good. Okay, so let's just wait for this process. It doesn't take too much time. All right, so this is the result that we have got. So once you are happy with it, you can just download it. But since I am left with another prompt, so I can use this one more time. Let's just try to change this a bit. So maybe we can try to add words like, you know, realistic, Iron Man costume, with a lot of detail because I'm still experimenting with this stuff since we have one more uh, go left let's just see if it produces a better result otherwise we'll use the image that we've got all right so you can see right this is what I was telling you that even if you add certain words here it doesn't really change the output so I think we'll use the first image now the problem is yes we can download this but it really downscales your image so the quality is not going to be good so let me show you the downloaded file so this is what we've got and you can see the swap it's pretty good, right? I mean, it does look real, right? But if I just zoom in, you're gonna see that the quality is not good, right? It just starts to pixelate a bit. And that's why we will be using the upscale media website later on. But right now, what we're gonna do is, first of all, we just wanna add some dramatic touch to it. So we're gonna be using this website, which is phot.ai. I've used a lot of back background replacing uh, Tools, AI tools like this, and I found this one to be the most straightforward and it works really well. Basically, you can uh, change the background but by just writing a prompt. So once you go to this website, this, again, it's free. So under all tools, just go to AI background replacer and then just upload the image that we've just generated. All right, so it's uploading right now. And then we're gonna use chat GPT to enter the prompt here. So the first thing it's going to do is it's automatically going to remove the background from the shot. So, and it does the job pretty well. And now we just have to replace it. We even have the choice to enter our own image here. But what we're going to do here is, uh, by the way, I should just point out, you'll have to create an account. Again, it's free. So just do that. You can see I'm already signed in here, but you'll just have to do that on your own. 
so under this write prompt section, I'm just going to hit this. And this is where we can enter our prompt and we don't need to enter it manually. We can open up chat GPT here. And what we can do is I've just written here that give me a prompt for a background where the subject is um, a superhero. Actually, I was that time I was doing it for Superman. That image was a bit different. But basically, you have to just write something like this. And I want something dark and cinematic. So just using chat GPT's help here. So it'll give you like a very detailed prompt like this. So I'm just going to copy this and go back to this website. By the way, all the links to these websites are given in the description. So you'll be able to access them. And now I'm just going to simply hit generate. So let's wait for this. All right, so we've got our results and you can see this looks pretty good. We've got another variation of this. I think this one looks even more dramatic with this whole uh, yellow light on all these things. If you want, you can hit generate again, try some more variations just to save time. We're going to be quick about this. So I'm going to choose this one and I'm going to now hit download now. And again, this is also it's not going to really provide you with a very good resolution. It's not going to further downscale the image, so that's fine. But it was already not good to start off with. But that's fine. So this is where the next step comes in. So now that we've got this image, we are going to now upscale it and increase the details in this image. So we are now going to hit go to upscale.media, okay, slash upload. Again, like I said, the link is given in the description. Uh, then we're going to upload this very image that we downloaded with the changed background. So let's do that. All right, so I've been able to verify through the capture. Now we are here. So you can see, right, this is how it look at 2x. So it's basically doubling this uh, the resolution, but we can even go up till 4x. Let's do that. And also there's another option here. It says enhance quality, and I, this also makes a lot of difference. It's completely free, so just hit the button. And you'll actually be able to see a lot of difference between the original and what if the upscale version. So you can, if I just hover over these images, just, it's kind of giving you a zoomed in look. So can you see, like if I show you this part, this was the original, it was so pixelated and just see the AI upscaled image. And once you're happy with this, you can just hit download and let's just open up this image. All right, so this is the upscale image. And if I zoom in now, you can see this looks really nice and sharp. And usually at this stage, I even take it and open it up in Photoshop and further increase the clarity, the contrast and make it more dramatic. But just wanted to show you completely free tools that you can use. So this is the process. And before I end this video, just want to show you because I always like to give a realistic picture in my videos. I just don't want uh, you to assume that these things are just going to work without any effort because I tried this with a lot of different images. So let me show you some of the results that I have got. So here are some of the results. Let me just open up these images. So even with this particular image that we used in this video, I tried some variations with different superheroes. And you can see some of the results were not good. This was the Superman costume. Uh, in this particular case, it wasn't good, but there's a variation to this, which was much better. Then I typed in a realistic Batman costume. And for some reason, it created these gaps where his body was being shown and I didn't like it at all. This Batman costume was much better, but then I don't know, somehow it just didn't give the feel of Batman. Otherwise, this was what I was planning to use for this video. But overall, it just looks like a normal black costume, so I didn't use it. This one was really good, but it just messed up with the fingers here. So AI often is very bad with hands and fingers. So this probably we would need to correct a bit in Photoshop. So I thought I just wanted to keep it completely free. So that's why I didn't use this particular image. But otherwise, this costume wise, if you just look at this part, I think it did a pretty good job. Then I used it on this image for Batman costume. It did a good job. This one was really nice. So this was the original I had. And with the Superman costume, I think this did a really good job. And here also, this was not bad, but just slightly looked more cartoonish in this case. So like I said, the results are hit and miss. I even tried on my own image and I have these tattoos and it just messed up because you can see when I created the Batman image, first of all, this just looked like a t-shirt and you can see it just started, it is going to distort some parts sometimes, even your face. So in most cases, to be honest, Photoshop will be required to just mask out things uh, where it has done something where you don't uh, want that area to be affected. For example, in this case, the tattoo, okay? Uh, and there's another variation. This was much better, but then I felt... I mean, I would love to have a body like this, but they just completely changed my body. So not uh, a very realistic result. So like I said, it's hit and miss. Then I used it on my profile picture here. Uh, it did a good job 
filling this in, but you can see then there was a problem here. And yeah, so these were some of the experiments. Uh, I've also been, uh, I'm planning to put up these experiments as live streams also. So do, you know, subscribe to my channel. And if this video helped you out, do like it. And I will see you in the next video where we will be experimenting more with some different AI tools. See you there. Bye for now.